Today is Saturday and we usually don't post any videos on Saturday. Saturdays and Sundays are the days that we, well, we just spend together and we go to the store, you know, just to get a couple of things here and there. But honestly, we stay away from YouTube. But I need to come here and clean the quail cage and just get ready because we have a snowstorm coming in. And I wanted to share with y'all something that I saw today at Costco that got me really concerned. Today I saw another indication that panic and chaos will soon follow the moment that, well, let's just say that once you finish or they finish counting those things, I believe that chaos and panic will, well, let's just say it's going to be spread out. And I'm saying that because here in Fairbanks, Alaska, we are expecting a snowstorm coming in. It's going to be or they say there's going to be dumping between 8 or 15 inches of snow now if the pass is in the indication we're probably going to see the foot and a half maybe two feet of snow that's just the way it goes and of course we something that i don't want to see because we have experienced this in the past but we are going to see some rain so we're going to see you know just freezing rain uh ice snow it's, it's just going to be bad and People are aware of what's going on because we all get the alert when uh, those winter uh, alerts come in. And that's one thing that we do, uh, pretty much everybody here in Alaska, we get those alerts. <laughs> well, they are important. But the point that I want to make is that today I was at Costco. I was at Costco because I opened one of my hand warmers. I mean, this is an open one. Um, and I looked uh the costco magazine that i get every every month i think and i saw a new um this right here a new brand of hand warmers and i and i told mrs d i was like hey man this is really really nice and it's it's way cheaper than the ones that we use i have no idea how, whether or not they work i'm pretty sure they will be the same but i wanted to test it out so i said hey let's go to costco early in the morning and uh let's let's grab it and you know if you want to get some uh you know some pork or whatever some rotisserie chicken uh costco do have i mean the cheap the cheapest rotisserie chicken ever uh, so it's like uh, just get something you know just to get out of the house we were there at 9 15 waiting for the doors to open i have never seen so many people at costco right before they open never and I've been here for a few years now. People are extremely unprepared. Extremely unprepared. They leave everything for the last minute. Uh, people were rushing into getting food, uh, milk, uh, water. Uh, you see people carrying cases of water. And I looked at D. And we, we know we had our car. We have a little list because I was like, well, we we're here. We just might as well get things. We didn't have to be there. We only went there for the, you know, for this, and we didn't need it. I mean, I have enough hand warmers for the next five years, but I wanted to replace this one. And that's usually what I try to do, replace what I use. And we looked at that, and Dee looked at me, and she's like, is this because the storm is coming? And I said to her, it probably is. But now imagine, imagine now that after that moment something don't go right imagine the panic and chaos at the stores because people don't think to have enough food to last you for a few days they just don't and guys if you're gonna be prepared in a place in the world should be here in alaska and we still saw a crap load of people at costco getting water getting food milk I mean, I'm talking about a significant line of people before the doors open, grabbing cars, walking in there in a rush and talking about, oh, yeah, you got to get, man, you got to get some food or something because, uh, you know, the storm's coming and we're going to get a, a dump of snow. Guys, I am telling you, if you are not prepared as best as you can after after you, everything is finished, either way it goes, we're going to see chaos. We're going to see panic. 
we're gonna see people on the streets, you know, going to the stores like crazy because they just are not used to. Well, and I don't want to say that they're not used to. They just don't do it. They don't do it, and that's where you want to be away. That's where you like. I, I'm. I. I just gonna stay away from the streets because there is no need for me to be up there. I have food, I have water, I have self-defense, I have everything. I don't need to be in this craziness. What I observed today, it is a small, very small indication of what is to, about to come. A very small but truthful indication that what is coming is chaos. And with chaos comes panic. And when panic happens... Well, let's just say that ain't gonna end well. It, it just it just baffles to baffles me to tell you the truth. I don't understand it. I guess you know everybody's different. I guess you know people really have to go through hardships to actually learn that having that insurance policy is gonna only be for their benefit. Are you prepared, or are you gonna be like one of these people that I saw today at Costco? Shopping at the last minute, whining and complaining, and just scared shitless. What? Which one are you? Let me know down in the comment section below. And like always, rock on, prep on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, everybody.